Hi friends, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to show you today a really neat technique that I saw online and that's a picture transfer. I have done picture transfer before from a copier to wood a photo transfer and you can I'm gonna link right there to my video which was very neat and today I'm gonna try picture transfer onto polymer clay and if that does work as well as it seems that it should work um, it's going to be an awesome awesome technique to use because that means that you can personalize your um, pendants with pictures like for example here I'm going to try to transfer the Yosemite picture of Half Dome I love Yosemite that would be really nice to have a pendant with that or you can just go ahead and print out any design that you want or maybe like even the date of your wedding or what have you and create those really neat projects one thing is that it has to be printed on laser jet so inkjet is not going to work so that you guys know so i printed all those images on laser jet and i do have white clay right here and um, let me just cut out a piece here actually i don't need to cut out a piece let me just i'm going to put it right smack in the middle and see what happens so we're going to take our image face it down on the clay Grab, uh, grab some nail polish remover, saturate paper towel, and just start dabbing on. You don't want to leave this thing on on the clay for too long because it simply gets stuck to it and it destroys your project. So just make sure that it's saturated. I'm going to pull right off. See? See what we have? Is it coming? No. Why is it not working? Okay, let's do it for just a minute longer. Okay, I have seen pe people do it with water as well. And you have to let it sit and... Oops, see that was already too long. So that didn't really work very well. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, well, we got some image, but not really that much. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let me try that with the water. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. My little sprayer obviously is not working. Okay, so let me put this down right here, upside down. I'm going to add water and you have to tap on it. You want to tap on it, you don't want to rub, rub it because um, you're going to scrape off all the paper. And then we're going to have to let it sit for an hour until it gets dry to touch. Again, you don't want to leave it for an uh, extended period of time because it's simply, uh, it's simply going to get stuck to it and you're not going to get such a nice image. Okay, so this one is very well saturated. I'm going to remove the excess right here yeah. very nice and I'm going to put this on the side to dry and I'll be back to check on it in an hour Okay, so I have the image of Yosemite and I'm going to try to do the same thing, but I'm going to try to do it with the water. It seems that I'm just not having uh, good luck with the, with the nail polish remover. I'm not quite sure why, because I have seen people do it before. So I'm going to put the impression, I'm just trying to 
center it somewhat I'm gonna add water to it and I'm gonna leave it for about an hour until it's nice and dry to touch and we'll see if I'll get Yosemite necklace out of it Ooh, okay guys I'm so excited I really hope for a beautiful outcome here it's been an hour and you can see that it's pretty dry it's actually coming off the clay these two were the last ones on so they're still dry but they are not as dry as these guys here so please cross your fingers let's do it and look at this <gasps> oh, I am absolutely in love with it ah, I am so excited all right this is exactly what I was after oh my gosh this is just beautiful loving it not sure why the nail polish remover didn't work because it works for other people uh, when when they make their videos didn't work for me at all this is amazing not a big deal I'll just wait an hour <laughs> next time just to use water okay now this is the special one right with Yosemite Eugh. I don't know because you know the lines are not as defined here so let's see what we get here oh my gosh that is so cool oh my goodness this is so absolutely awesome it's so antique looking oh I can totally see oh I'm gonna use this this cut on it oh this is so cool absolutely amazed I am so amazed that it actually came out as good as it did I'm looking at these here because there are spots but I guess there are spots right here too okay so it's just the clay is just picking up the spot the, the spots a little bit more but that's what I was after because I think that when you can do the image transfer that means that you can personalize things you can make beautiful memories put like I said you know wedding dates or pictures or oh, or Yosemite I am so jazzed okay so let's see these guys here ah, please come out as good as the other ones oh yeah oh oh my goodness yes 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 so exciting this is so, I'm so happy right now I'm in a very happy place this one I did it after I um, I put the other ones together and there is another one. Oh my gosh this one didn't come out all that great why did it not come out that great it's like it had two spots that did not take it hmm yep I don't think I'm gonna use that one I mean the idea behind it was nice I'm not sure if it was me or if it was just the imprint or maybe I just didn't put enough I didn't make sure that there was enough water coming through because see so maybe it's probably just my 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 issue so I'll probably flip it over and put another one on and see how that comes out all right so now I am going to cut out some pendants and I'm going to throw them in the oven because with this one I'm pretty much done the Yosemite ones but this I think I'm going to try something else after they come out of the oven so let me see what I can do here um, I don't want the pendant to be too big oh but I don't want to miss out on Yosemite what shall I do what shall I do is this even enough should I do this one? Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, you know what? No, I'm just gonna go for the bigger one. I wanna get more of it. So I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> oh, there was still some paper left from other imprint <laughs> that I was pr practicing on. Oh my goodness, look at the Yosemite. Very, very nice. Mm just gonna I can't wait I can't wait to to bake it and and then work with it and these guys here let me see I'm just gonna 
I am going to just, I want the bigger parts here. So I'm going to get an oval here of this one. And do I want the same shape or a different shape? Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Oh, but that one is nice too. I'm having issues deciding today. Gee, if those were the only problems in the world, right? What cutter to use? <laughs> <laughs> really? Let's put things in perspective here. <laughs> okay, guys. I am throwing all these in the oven right now. And I will see you guys when they are nicely baked. And I do think that I'm going to do one more thing with at least one of those. If not both. So, I'll see you guys in a few. Hello, friends. Here I am back. Uh, my pendants are nicely baked and now I can continue working on them. Now my husband when he saw it he said well this is fantastic but it's a reversed image of Half Dome. So honestly I'm gonna have to try to see if I can flip the image. I think that we can do, you can do it on the computer. So it's the actual image of the Half Dome because it's actually the other way around if you know what I mean this is the <laughs> I was so excited about it I totally didn't didn't pay attention to it but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to it anyways so this is just my little sponge here and I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna sponge the edges nothing dramatic just a little bit just to kind of add like a even more vintage look to it I don't want it to come, to go too heavy with the brush with the sponging brush this is my sponging brush that I'm using for my paper sponging I use sponges and the brushes so all right so this is just a tiny little touch that I'm gonna add to the to my pendant and then that's going to be it. I'm not going to do anything else to it. Maybe I can go even go like this. Sometimes that's even a nicer technique. Get a nice edge. Anyways, so that is going to be it for that pendant. But I am going to try to take it and flip it. So that's actually the way Half Dome really, really looks. It's not reversed. I was so excited about it. So this means that if you're going to do something personalized and you're going to put a date, make sure that you get the negative image. <laughs> not like me. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that you can uh, you can print out the negative, negative um, image or whatever it's called, the reversed image <clears throat> of the numbers and things like that when you're working on the date. So here, I decided that I'm going to grab my alcohol markers because a nice thing about um, about uh, you know having the the image transferred is that you can really control the coloring it would be nice to be able to control the coloring um, so I'm gonna see if I can do some shading and I'm using what E09 and Y17 so let me try that so we're gonna do with the yellow first and this one it looks like brown but it's actually a little bit of reddish a nice thing about it is that I'm already noticing right now is that it doesn't dry right away so you really have time to blend so that's super nice
okay guys before I go and put the top coats on all the, all the varnish on my pieces I baked another piece and I used Fimo jade color and uh, I did the imprint on it and I didn't, did I realize that it's actually a semi translucent so it looks really really cool I don't like to mix the different brands because there's different temperature you know Sculpey has different baking temperature than than Fimo so you can't really uh, mix the the different clays but that's what I did and now I want to add something really cool I want to see how that's going to look and I'm going to grab my gel pen and this one is um, let me see if I have anything here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this one is just like glitter glitter yeah it's glitter or silver can you guys see that there's it's shiny okay so I wanted to go over all this dark pieces with my pen so you're still gonna see the the black underneath but then you're gonna have the shining pieces which are uh, the ones that I'm covering in gel Okay, so there you have it. It's, it adds just a really neat little touch. So you can see that it's dark on one side when you look this way and then it turns into the glitter. So I'm going to add resin to that one as well with all the other ones. And when everything is nice, set and done, I'll show you guys the outcome. All right, guys now the pendants are nice and dry and you can see how they look I added the resin on the, these three and just the matte finish on my Yosemite one I really love the way it came out it's so antique looking but take a look at these I mean this one is um, although there's nothing nothing more to it than just a black and white pendant I think I still think it came out really really nice and this one is white clay with the transfer and the alcohol markers and here is my favorite I am so in love with this one I just love how you see the shimmer on it oh my goodness and that's the one that was baked with Fimo jade green which is the semi translucent I just love the way this one came out and was the last one that I made too I was almost done with the project <laughs> well my friends I hope you enjoyed this and uh, you're gonna give it a try and till next time my friends ta-ta